The gates of limbo rise ahead, a towering edifice, distinctly less intimidating than hell's forbidding entrance. These gates tell a story of subtler sorrow, a world less torturous, where souls aren't tormented, but merely deprived. Here lies the first circle of Dante's infernal journey, a realm of those who never knew the touch of baptism, yet were not sinners in the conventional sense. Beyond these gates, the landscape unfolds in surprising serenity. A vast, open meadow stretches to the horizon, blanketed by the gentle hues of twilight. Unlike the terrifying circles that lurk deeper, this land whispers tales of passive sadness, where souls exist in a state of melancholic peace, suspended between hope and despair, forever caught in a moment of ethereal calm. In the distance, a beacon of grandeur, the castle of the virtuous. Majestic and regal, it gleams faintly, as if built from the dreams of those who reside within. This sanctuary houses the virtuous souls who walked the earth before the advent of Christ's teachings. They're only failing. Not being touched by the waters of baptism. Still, their nobility and virtue shine undiminished. Inside, the castle's halls echo with the wisdom of millennia. Here, luminaries of a bygone era gather, figures like Aristotle, Socrates, and Plato, their legacy undiminished by time. As they discuss profound philosophical matters, the very air vibrates with knowledge and understanding. Their dialogues bridge cultures and epochs, serving as a testament to the enduring human spirit and quest for truth. Amid the grandeur and wisdom, a poignant scene unfolds. Ethereal, innocent spirits of children play in the meadow. Their laughter, light yet tinged with sorrow, fills the air. These are the souls of the unbaptized children, those who left the earthly realm too soon, denied the rights that could have secured their place in paradise. Their innocence shines, a heart-wrenching reminder of life's unpredictability. Amid the quiet landscapes of limbo, Virgil's home stands as a testament to his lasting impact. A Roman-style villa, it emanates a soft glow, a haven of knowledge and poetry. Within its walls, Virgil had once crafted verses that resonated through the ages. Now, in this tranquil domain, it serves as his refuge, a place where Dante might find answers to his burning questions. A gathering of souls comes into view. These are the noble pagans, their clothing revealing a mosaic of ancient civilizations. Though unbaptized, their virtue and nobility in life earned them a place here. As they walk and converse, their discussions span lifetimes, merging the wisdom of different eras. Their presence is a stark reminder of the many virtuous souls that Limbo cradles within its grasp. Above, the skies over Limbo tell their own story. Unlike the rest of Hell's oppressive darkness, here, bright stars punctuate the vast expanse. Each star could be seen as a testament to a soul below, a glimmer of hope, a reflection of the virtue they held in life. As they shimmer and twinkle, they offer a subtle promise that even in sorrow, there's a hint of beauty. Flowing serenely through this domain is the river Lethe. Unlike the turbulent Acheron, its waters are calm, mirroring the tranquility of limbo. But its placidity hides a deeper secret, the waters represent forgetfulness. Those who drink from it are said to forget all of earthly life, perhaps a merciful gift in a place where memories might be a poignant burden. Amid the peaceful settings, a scene reminiscent of ancient Greece unfolds. Here is Homer, the epic poet whose tales of heroes and gods have captivated for generations. Gathered around him, a group of souls listens intently, transported by the tales of the Iliad and the Odyssey. Even in limbo, the power of storytelling provides a momentary escape, a journey into epics that have withstood time. Dominating Limbo's landscape is the Citadel. This majestic fortress, with its towering walls and sentinel towers, houses Limbo's most illustrious souls. It stands as a symbol, contrasting the desolation of hell. Within its confines, noble spirits find solace, mingling in philosophical and poetic discourse. The Citadel's grandeur is a testament to the great minds and virtuous hearts that reside within. Dante gazes upon the inhabitants of Limbo, his face painted with a mix of empathy and sorrow. 
His eyes reveal the internal conflict, gratitude for not being among them but heartache for their fate. These souls, so virtuous in life, now spend eternity yearning for a salvation they'll never attain. Dante's compassionate expression speaks volumes about the profound impact of limbo. The beauty of limbo takes an ethereal turn as souls engage in a graceful dance. This isn't a dance of joy but one of melancholy acceptance. Their movements, synchronized and fluid, create a dreamlike tableau against the twilight backdrop. In this somber ballet, the spirits find a momentary reprieve from the weight of their eternal longing. Amidst the vast meadows, Dante and Virgil stand in deep conversation. Dante, ever the seeker of knowledge, looks to his guide for understanding. Virgil, with the wisdom of ages, elucidates the nature of limbo, its residence, and their fate. Their discussion is a blend of mentorship and camaraderie, shedding light on the intricate tapestry of the afterlife. Stretching across limbo are fields blanketed with white asphodel flowers. These blooms, swaying gently under the breeze, symbolize the melancholic peace that pervades this circle. Their purity stands in stark contrast to the darker circles below. For the souls here, these fields are both a comfort and a reminder of an eternal existence spent in quiet yearning. Amidst the subdued ambience of limbo, a solitary silhouette emerges, delicately strumming a harp. The hauntingly beautiful melodies weave through the air, casting a melancholic serenade that resonates with the souls around. Each note embodies limbo's essence, a tranquil sadness, a yearning for the divine, and the weight of an eternity spent in quiet reflection. Guiding Dante through the vast plains, Virgil takes a moment to identify several of the realm's significant inhabitants. His descriptions paint a vivid tapestry of ancient heroes, scholars, and poets, each with a tale as grand as the next. This narrative journey offers Dante a deeper understanding of the bittersweet nature of limbo, where virtue and unfulfilled faith converge. As Dante and Virgil traverse the landscape, a radiant point on the horizon catches their attention. This gleam, brighter than the rest of limbo, symbolizes the higher circles of hell, a reminder of the torments awaiting further below. It serves as both a beacon and a warning, hinting at the graded punishments that grow in intensity as one descends. Around them, spirits seem lost in thought, their ethereal forms hinting at a profound contemplation. These souls, once great thinkers on earth, now reflect upon their lives, desires, and choices. Their introspection is a testament to the unquenchable human spirit, seeking understanding and meaning even in the afterlife, forever pondering the nature of existence and fate. As the horizon begins to darken once more, Dante and Virgil prepare to venture forth from the tranquil plains of limbo. This transition point is palpable, signaling not only the end of this circle but also the imminent descent into realms of increasing anguish. Their journey, symbolic of the soul's quest for understanding, continues into the deeper abysses of hell.